They are not going to punt the football. Auburn fourth and four at midfield. And Ken Hobby with 2.38 to go is not going to punt on fourth down. Hobby sets his wishbone in the backfield. And now somebody moves. Well, I'll tell you what, Jack. They have tried, I believe, take a delay of the game in the center snap the football. Of course, there's a flag on the play also, and I don't understand it. It came in late. So we'll see what the situation is. Well, this will be a very interesting situation because if it is allowed, the Bulldogs will have the football at midfield. So the officials discuss it with both teams, and Mississippi State gets the ball at the 50-yard line, John. Auburn did not get the playoff. There was no delay. Did not get a first down, obviously. And Mississippi State takes over at the 50-yard line with 2.28 on the clock and only one timeout. So, Pat Dye is really arguing with one of the officials on the sidelines, and this crowd doesn't like it, but that's where we are at the 50-yard line. First and 10, Mississippi State with 2.28 to go. And now the officials walk in and hold up time again. Referee's timeout. He's going to come over and talk to Pat Dye, the Auburn coach. They're off the football field on the sidelines in front of the Auburn bench. Coach Emily Ballard is watching all the way across the football field and talking to John Bond about it. Only one timeout remaining for Mississippi State. 17 to 14, Auburn leading, 228 to play in the ball game. And like so many Mississippi State Auburn games as of late, it's coming right down to the wire. Official timeout. Now Auburn wants a timeout. And with Auburn taking a timeout, we'll be back in one minute after this message from the Gulf Oil Company. Bulldogs first and 10 at midfield. One timeout left, trailing 17 to 14. Bond off the option. Goes to Donald Ray King, and he cannot go. He was stacked up for a gain of at most a yard. Auburn doing a great job defensively with Martin and Williams, the left defensive end in the middle linebacker, making the stop. Lamar Wyndham will bring the play in. He shuttles with Danny Knight. John Bond talks to his ball club, brings him down on the line of scrimmage. Dan Young goes wide to the left. Lamar Wyndham comes wide to the right. Auburn's in a 5-2 defense. Motion with Wyndham. Bond rolls left to throw. Sets up, fires to the sideline. Young cannot hang on to it. Incomplete. Young was hit by Greg Tutt just as the ball arrived, and it goes incomplete. Third and nine at the 49. Dan ran the out pattern down about eight or nine yards and toward the sidelines. You might look for him here, John, to run the um, out and down pattern. Bulldogs need to go for a first down at this point. 150 is all that's left on the clock. So the Auburn defense is alive and their crowd is alive. Dan Young goes wide to the left. Addison King, your running back, set behind Bond. He looks at a 4-4 defense, very loose. Bond uses motion with Danny Knight. Bond rolls left to throw, sets up, looks, fakes, is going to be hit, dropped at the 50-yard line. So, it is fourth down and 10 for Mississippi State at the 50-yard line, and the Bulldogs will use their final timeout. As Edmund Nelson made the tackle, we'll be back in one minute. Fourth and 10 for the Bulldogs from the 50-yard line. 137 left in the game. Bond rolls back to throw. Has room to run, fires, pass complete. Danny Knight breaks it to the 30, to the 20, knocked down at the 19-yard line. Danny Knight with a great catch. Well, he just went downfield and just made a turn in for a moment. It looked like John Bond was going to just turn up field and pick up the first down, which he could have done. He started out again, saw Danny Knight, hit him on a good curl pattern, and Danny was able to get on up field to pick up some more extra yardage. 125 left on the clock. The Bulldogs are 19 yards away from the go-ahead touchdown. Clock runs with 119, 117 to go. Bond looking at the Auburn defense. Bond uses motion, goes on the short side sweep, and Wyndham is chased out of bounds along the 18-yard line. Bulldogs stop the clock with 107 to go. Donnie Humphrey chases him out of bounds. It'll be second and nine from the 18-yard line. And Mississippi State needs another big play, John. <laughs> uh, but don't let I do, Jack, in just a second there. I, I guess we're the world's greatest at just going right down to the wire with the ball game. I don't think there's any question about it. <laughs> the, uh, 
not uh, any ball club to follow if you are faint-hearted. Well, will the Bulldogs try to put it deep in the end zone while they stay on the ground? They're trailing 17-14. They're in field goal range right now. John Bond wants to throw and looks to the end zone and throws. Touchdown, Mississippi State! Touchdown, Danny Knight! John Bond drilled it in with exactly a minute to go. Mississippi State hits two big plays. Danny Knight on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. Well, what a pass he threw, Jack. Mississippi State 20, Auburn 17. One minute on the clock. <laughs> the Bulldogs took the football at midfield and Auburn goofed up a fourth down play. What a break they got. And now we'll try the extra point out of the hole to Parker. Morgan kicks it up. He is good. 21-17 Mississippi State. Back with a Bulldog kickoff after this message from Fred's Discount Stores. Bob Morgan kicks it off deep. Buford picks it up around the five, trying to get outside, is in trouble and knocked down at the six-yard line. Great coverage by Mississippi State's kickoff here on the Giants. Yeah, of course, Jack, you know, they had a little problem today. Every time it kicked off, Auburn's come out and brought it out and get the field position. This time it did a super job of getting down and stopping Auburn on the five-yard foul, about the six-yard line. Joe Sullivan is going to begin for the Auburn Tigers at quarterback. He's their best passer. They'll go with three wide receivers. And the Bulldog defense is going to be sorely pressed. Sullivan back to throw. Fires left side. Pass almost intercepted. Off the fingertips of John Miller who made a diving effort at the football. It'll be second and ten for the Tigers with 50 seconds to go. Well, let's hope that clock runs as fast now, Jack, as it did a while ago. Well, I'm not too concerned, John. You know, I thought we got robbed of 13 seconds earlier in the game. Right now, I'm kind of glad of it. Yep. I didn't like it then. I'm liking it better. Second and ten. Auburn from their own six. Bulldogs lead 21-17. Sullivan wants to throw. In the middle of the pass, batted up in the air and again almost picked off. Curtis Stowers got a hand on it. It'll be third and ten on the incomplete pass with 45 seconds on the clock. Auburn shuttles in. Tommy Carroll bringing instructions in. We missed the station break at four o'clock. Grab it now, fellas. Down the line. Five seconds on the MSU Football Network. Auburn third and ten from their own six needs a big play right now Sullivan rolls in the end zone to throw setting up, looking, looking fires it deep up the middle and the pass is fought for an incomplete Williams was fighting with Edwards Greg Williams of Mississippi State fighting with Mike Edwards for Auburn down around the Auburn 45 yard line incomplete Auburn is fourth and ten from the six with 36 seconds on the clock Ball is on the Auburn six-yard line, John. <laughs> Last week we were dying with 47 seconds on the clock. This week it's 36 seconds on the clock. How many years has this taken off of your life? <laughs> so Sullivan will try it again on fourth down. And he's in the end zone to throw, and he sets up, and he fires it deep up the field. And the pass is intercepted by Mississippi State. And Kenneth Johnson gets his second interception of the afternoon. The Auburn Tiger is dead. Yeah, we can put out the fire and put the dogs in the wagon. Auburn has one timeout left, and that's all. With 27 seconds on the clock, the Bulldogs will be at the Auburn 45. What a tremendous comeback by Mississippi State, who were in command of the ball game at the halftime, 14 to 7, and then made every mistake you could conceivably make. And now John Bond will run two plays if he can hang on to the football. Auburn's in a 3-4-5 defense. Bond sits on the football. Nobody's going to get to him. There are 3,000 fans across the way are breathing some kind of sigh of relief, John. <laughs> They're not the only ones. I Auburn's don't. not calling timeout. <laughs> and the clock is running with 13 seconds. So that's going to be the old ball game. And the Bulldogs are going to win it 21-17. You know, what could you believe it kind of deal? It is all over. Mississippi State 21, Auburn 17. 